for thousands of dollars and has been showcased in Paris, Madrid, and Milan. But you don't have to go far to appreciate her painting's ethereal beauty and strength, all befitting a breast cancer survivor. In 2018, Knight had a bilateral mastectomy in the Capiolani Medical Center Women's Cancer Center. Her art hangs there now, a symbol of courage for others. Now four and a half years cancer-free, she is using her art to give back to a community that saved her life. She says giving helps her heal. When you forget about your ailments and your trauma and, and, and the pain and the insecurities and the fear, then it gets a, li a little bit easier. This Friday evening, Knight will host a fundraiser at Island Brew Coffee House in Kakaako with a silent auction, live body art, food, and a presentation of what's considered the first non-fungible token fine art from Hawaii. Knight calls the NFT series unafraid. We can not let fear control us, but we can control the fear that we will have when we go through the traumatic experience such as cancer. Proceeds will go to Kapiolani's ambitious $20 million three-year campaign to build a new Martha B. Smith Cancer and Infusion Center for women and children to centralize all chemotherapy and patient care. That would alleviate a lot of doctors and patients from going from one side to the other because the equipment for, for, for women or adults is pretty much the same uh, for the children. And this is going to be the first also in the, uh, the Pacific region. Kapiolani hopes to expand support services for thousands of local cancer patients, especially Keiki. The volume is very high, the space is very small. The level of care is so exceptional and amazing, but we just really wanna be able to enhance it even more, give more space. 95% of our patients are on clinical trials, meaning they don't need to fly away to a different hospital on the mainland to receive specialized care. They can get it right here at home. Home, it's what inspires night and the art of healing. Annalisa Burgos, Hawaii News Now.